guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Luna, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I will tell you, I've been to multiple Dollar Trees and I'm just not finding items to share with you. I'm not sure what's going on, um, but I'll show what I have and hopefully you'll like it. That's all I got, and I have coffee. Iced coffee. Because I don't care if it's 30 degrees outside. It's spring. That's how I feel today. It's spring. Let's get started. Okay. I grabbed one of these. Um, if you're not new to my channel, I use these for my taxes. So I'll just put this in my drawer upstairs um, for next year or 2023 taxes. I love these little jot containers. Um, because I do self-employment tax, I have to keep a lot of receipts, which I have a container that I, I'm taking off the label. I have a, um, a file of facts folder that has 12 dividers. So every month I throw my receipts in, but at the end of the year, or if it's something that I've already documented and I just need to throw it somewhere to keep it, I toss it in here when I'm done. And then at the end of the year, this is what I take to my tax person. So I always like to have one of those on hand for that. I grabbed one of these frames. I don't necessarily want it for what's in it. I was kind of hoping I could take it apart. Um, I don't know. I really just wanted to put a cross stitch in here. And I was hoping that I could um, get it apart somehow so I could mount my cross stitch but it just says shine bright like a diamond on the inside but I don't want that side I want a plain so we'll see if I can get like one of these sides to come off without breaking it and I could slide this metal out and then put what I want in here that would be great if not I'll just order a frame but I thought it was worth it for a dollar and 25 cents to try that out um, for Easter, for somebody, I grabbed Dinosaur Train. I know. This is a little, um, it comes with a marker, on the go spot the difference set. So, in, um, inner game pages, 10 spot the game difference activity, one mini marker. So, it's just a little book, a little activity book. And it is Dinosaur Train. So I thought that would be fun. And to go with that for this person, <laughs> I grabbed a little dinosaur blow up. It's for an adult Easter basket, but I tease him about his dinosaur love. So these are going in the Easter basket. These are fun. If you have any kind of kids parties or whatever, they come out at Christmas time too. You just blow them up. I thought that would be fun. Easter gift. So I grabbed that. Um, hold on to your hat, Dollar Tree. You have coconut flour? What? So if you do keto or any kind of, um, it's keto-friendly, gluten-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, kosher, preservative-free, and it's non-GMO. And it's also halal. I don't really know what that means, but... There's no meat. This is vegetarian, vegan. I mean, it, there's, it's just ground coconut. Dehydrated and ground coconut. And it's in a flour. So when I do baking, um, you add a little coconut flour. It helps absorb. Like It acts like a flour would, but um, there's, there's very low carbohydrates and there's no gluten in it. But it is absorbent. So you throw a little bit of this in when you're baking and it helps absorb some of those extra liquids. And it makes a little bit of a bready texture. You would not cook specifically with this in baking, but this is an ingredient. And I'm shocked, shocked, I tell you, that I found this at the Dollar Tree. I usually have to get this online or specialty stores. Um, and this is good until October of 24. And I will tell you, I needed to get rid of, like, freshen up my drawer of baking goods. Also, I found, this is from Campbell's Flavor Up. It is a boost to the flavor of any meat, veggie, or garnish dish by adding a tablespoon or more. No need for extra salt. So it is water, salt, yeast extract, tomato puree, um, mushrooms, natural flavors, roasted garlic. There's some sugar in here. 
it's only one gram of carb, but it's a flavor booster. So you could just like saute something or cook it up and then you squeeze a tablespoon of this in it and it just adds some flavor. Like what? They had this one, they had caramelized onion and garlic and herb, but I went with the mushroom. I think this would be also be good in like a soup. Just saying. Um, let's see, what's going on out there, Looney? I found this little sewing kit, which I know it's not new, but, oh, sorry, that was awfully quick. Um, I've got travel on the brain. Luna, leave him alone. Why, why you got to do that to him? Why you got to be like that? Him's your friend. Not today. These two have been going at it all day. Um, it's just a little sewing kit, but I'm curious, so I wanted to see the inside. So you do get these little tiny scissors. I don't know about that. You get some threads, but what is exciting about it is all these little needles, right? So you get a bunch of sewing needles, but in here you get safety pins, buttons, and straight pins, which this is great too for on the go. Oh, and you even get a little thimble and a measuring tape. So that's not terrible. I don't know the quality of the thread, but to have in your car or in, um, I'm opening something. Oops, see the scissors, they're, they're not gonna work so good, but everything else I think is fantastic in there. But to have like in a little emergency kit though, I like to have one in my glove box because if I lose a button or, um, I'm known for ripping holes in my pockets. Um, I don't know. I have this coat for my part-time job and I had to sew up both holes at work. So this is great for me to throw in my work backpack when I, at my part-time job and have just some thread and needles and little stuff. And if people get a hole or a rip while we're working, here we go. Oops. Let me get this black one. I'm trying to, or gray. Um, at least I have a little sewing kit in my backpack that I can help somebody out. So that's what I'm gonna do with it, is take it to my part-time job. Um, where am I? Oh, in the party section, I found these picks. Guys, I'm dying here. Right? They're party picks. Think cupcake. Like just stick that in the middle of a cupcake or if you're making like a charcuterie board or something for a party, any type of food. They're plastic skewers, so they're they're fine. And you just stick them in there and they, oops, they had different colors. And I'm thinking this is like everything in my life and then some. I love them. I can't wait to have them. Like, oh, this summer, go to the pool and just stick them in some cheese. Why not? Why not? Let's have a party. Um, Sassy and Chic yeah, came out with a new product. Now I'm looking for the little tiny spatula to get my goop and product out, but this is for like bigger. Look at that. It's for your products. So you can put it on your face, but you can also, those jars that you have to get in there and get your product out because there's so much waste if you don't. So I grabbed one of these for me and I grabbed one for my girl because we need these things. Um, in our beauty regimen. And what I like too is that comes off so you can wash it in case anything gets goopy up in there. I do need to find, I think it's called a splatty and it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little spatula that I can use to get product out of things. But for now, I have this one, which I like. Okay, where are we at? Like I said, there wasn't a ton of stuff, but some of the things I found was fun. This my friends, has been all the rage on TikTok. It is the Be Pure brand. It is Tinted Rose Oil Lip Balm. And it is color changing, so it matches your pH. I get this hot pink in the middle. And I've been seeing it all over TikTok, and I've been laughing because, obviously, I already opened it to try. It does smell like roses. Um, this is what my pH is giving me, this pink. I saw somebody who got the darker color. Um, and I love it. And if I find some, I'm going to grab another one. So it is part of the Be Pure line and it is called, it just says tinted rose oil, uh, go from clear to your unique lip color. So it is a color changing lip, uh, lipstick. 
And it stayed on pretty well, too, which I found hilarious from the Dollar Tree. And it's, you know, the Dollar Tree brand. And it, it stayed. And I was very happy about that. Um, I got some more candies for my peach Easter basket. So I got some little Snickers. Again, he, I'm going to say this every time. But if you're buying for a family, this is not your cost-effective way to go. I'm making two baskets this is perfect for for what I do because you only get in here for a dollar twenty five nine snickers you know so it's not hi Alex it's not a great amount but it's perfect for what I need so for me it makes all the sense in the world so I grabbed some snickers and then I got each of them a Carmelo Cadbury Carmelo bars because uh duh who doesn't need a Carmelo? And these are delicious. And they look good in an Easter basket. Because look at the colors. So that I got for Easter basketing. I'll put those in their own little bags. I got some more down here. I picked up some of these Scrabble tiles in the black and white to make some crafty stuff. Um, I don't, you probably get 26 letters is what I'm assuming. So if you like one of every letter. So if you're wanting to make words, you probably need to buy multiple packs to get your E's and A's and all of that. But I just grabbed two. I thought it would be fun to give it a try. So I grabbed those. For, okay, it's all right. She's crazy. Um, my Dollar Tree is starting to get some of the sewing stuff in. So these are some straight pins, which I am glad I bought these because I have quilting pins and they were pricey. These are not. And when I do, Luna, come here. When I do my finishing for my cross stitch and I'm attaching ribbon or something, I glue it on and I use pins to hold it and it's ruining my quilting pins. Luna, no, you don't need to go over there. So I grab this. You get, they're straight pins. I don't know how many you get in here, 50 maybe. But I thought that was really cool. And the little container, the lid will go back on. It'll snap back on. So they're just the short little straight pins, but perfect for crafting if you don't want to ruin your good stuff. I tried one of these, but I got these for the Easter baskets too. Just a couple for each of them. So they're like the um, caramels, but they're chocolate caramels with the cream center. So they taste like an Oreo. And they're pretty good. There's just a couple in a bag, so I'll throw them on top of the Easter basket. Also for Easter, again, I got two of the Starbursts. Uh-uh, that's not for you. Two of the Starbursts, and they come, I'll show you. Don't get a lot in here, but they come pre like Halloween candy. They come two in a pack and these are going to go. So I got those big Easter eggs that shaped like a bunny and a carrot and a chick. And I want to put these in there. So I grabbed two packages of those. Again, not your best purchase if you have more than two people, but I don't and they're adults. So I'm not worried about it. Um, just a couple more things. This I got for my car. It is perfect. It goes into the seat back to the back seat be on the floor behind my passenger where I don't really have anybody, but I use this to hold things. So if I'm traveling, I will put in here like paper towels and maybe some cleaner, some wet wipes. If I'm taking a road trip, when I'm bicycling a lot in the summer, I will put my cycling gear in here, like water bottles, snacks, my gloves that I wear, sunblock, towels, all the things I'll need for before riding and after. And it's nice and structured and I can grab it and go. So and it sits right on the floor and it won't like tip over. So these are great for that or anything else. Speaking of traveling, I have some road trips coming up this summer. So I've been stocking up on meat sticks because these are a great snack for me to have. Um, some of them say zero sugar, which are perfect for me. This one has five grams of protein. It does have a little sugar. It's two carbs, but it's not the end of the world. It's a great protein source for me. So I pick them up all the time and I have a basket in my snack cabinet and I just keep it full. 
of that. And then I have, I got these for the Easter baskets to fill, to cover them. And they are the peeps. And you get a little card. So I'm going to put the Easter baskets in there with the pet presents. Because I got each of the pets a present. And it even has a little gift label on it, which I think is fantastic. And you get one. One cello bag, one twist tie, and one gift card to put the name on. So I grabbed two of those to do my two Easter baskets. And the last thing I found were the silicone rings, which I'm trying to use these cheap scissors to get cut this open, but it's not working. <laughs> I broke the scissors, guys. Okay, just for the record, the scissors that come in this little Dollar Tree kit, they don't cut anything. Yeah, they don't work. Um, I first bought, what size is this? They're sized. So this fits a six and a half or a seven ring size. I happen to wear an eight. So then I got the large, which fits an eight and a half to a nine. So between them, and they're just fun, little silicone rings. I wanted to try them out. I don't really have a need for them in my life, other than I just think they're fun. And they had small, medium, and large. So the largest size, I guess, would fit a size nine. Variety of colors for every occasion. And these were as seen on TV, I believe. Rapid brand, Sacramento, California. And that's everything that I found at my Dollar Trees the last couple of weeks, actually. I'm hoping they get some fresh... Oh, here's here's your sizer, by the way. Place finger here for sizing. So, I guess if it goes halfway around, that's your size. I don't know. Anyway, I hope they get some more stuff in stock um, because I was running out of things to show you. But that's everything. I hope you have a great day and I will talk with you later.